Hi friends, long time no see. Today I wanted to just share briefly my Chic Sparrow Passport Size Traveler's Notebook that I use as a wallet. This cover is from when the Austin line was still the Mr. Darcy. So this is the Mr. Darcy Buttered Rum. And when I originally got it, it was a much, much lighter color. And so over the last couple of years, it has really aged very, very nicely. And it has some scuff marks because I'm not gentle with it. Uh, it goes into my, my bags, my purses, backpacks, um, gets carried around a lot. It's a nice sturdy leather, this one. So it's still fairly stiff compared to um, some of my larger Chic Sparrow notebook covers. But um, I think that works well for the wallet because it keeps things really protected. And he is a chonky boy, which I really love. I just love the feel of it and it, um, it smells so nice. So inside, I when I got this, I ordered the, I don't remember if it's called like the deluxe version, but it's the one where it has the pockets, like the secretarial pockets inside in the front and the back. So in the front here, I just have a proof of a, of a zine that I made a few years ago that I really liked how it turned out. Um, the next thing I have is this wallet wraparound insert that I got off of Etsy. It is from a shop, I believe it was called Thread and Print, but I will for sure link it below. And it has a pin loop. I like to typically keep a Quebeco on here. And then you open it up and it has six of these small card pockets. I just keep my driver's license, um, some insurance cards, my Costco card, little informational sheet from the ACLU. Uh, I also have another pocket right in here where I keep um, some more like punch cards from a local ice cream shop for my kids, our book, local bookstore, things like that in there. So it, it really holds a lot. Then in my first section on my first, well, I guess this is my second string because I still have this string right here. You could, you could put something on, but I think the notebook would be too thick at that point. But I have two inserts on this one string. I have a craft folder with pockets. And on the front, I just have some local stickers. Star Trek sticker, open it up, more Star Trek stickers. I'm trying to decide where to put these. But also I know if I get too many stickers, sometimes I get sensory overload visually. So it's a, it's a balance between wanting to decorate everything, but then also keeping it calm for how my eyes and brain likes things. Um, some stamps. In this pocket here, just this was a little envelope that I didn't want to get rid of from a local brewery when we bought like a gift card or something. And then these are some drawings from my from my kids, my uh, my oldest. A few years ago, he knows I love Dr. Ian Malcolm, Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park, so he drew me some portraits of Ian Malcolm, and I love them. So that's what's in this first pocket. And then this is just a little sticker that came on an Etsy order uh, from a stationery shop where I got some washi tape and this was just a cute decoration. So then this is my calendar. And I have to have a calendar with me, like a paper calendar, a physical calendar at all times. Otherwise I just can't keep track of things. I do put things in my phone as well, but Writing things down just helps me solidify it more. This calendar is just for 2022 and I got it from uh, Paper Penguin Co. on Etsy. And then in the back, some extra stickers, a little business card from a really neat company 
that my mom got me this little hobbit door, fairy door from that I have on my bookshelf, but I really like the business card, so I just stuck it in here. And then back here, some medical paperwork and some school reminders and some more stickers because I love our local stickers. Then in the next section, insert, I have a wraparound, uh, another kind of folio pocket. And then back here, I just have a notebook. I just put this one in, I filled up my last little one. I just like it so that I can jot down any lists or reminders that I might need to know. I'll I'll often do lots of planning in these little extra paper notebooks. And then it wraps around and I have some pictures back here. And then on this side I have an old Starbucks card from back home. I just thought it was so pretty so I split it back here. And then General Leia and then my Planetary Society membership card. And then over here is the back side of that wraparound wallet insert. And I just keep some bank cards, um, a blank check in case I need it, or like the routing number is some cash. And I don't usually like to keep um, change in here because it makes it super bulky, but I do have some change in there right now. So really I get a lot in this wallet insert. And then some business cards from a doctor's office and then Oh yeah, a <laughs> paint chip for my house that I need to remember what the paint is so that when I'm ready to go get more, I get the right color. And a piece of grass from being in my purse out at soccer games with the kids. So that that is it, just a quick tour. Oh no, that is my washing machine. So that is it. That is my wallet, how I'm using it right now. I kind of go back and forth between a traditional wallet and this wallet, but for right now, I really like this. It just has all my essentials and plus the calendar and a space for notes and little ephemera and doodads. So yeah, I'll probably use this for a while. So if you also use a traveler's notebook as a wallet, I would love to hear about it. So thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.